Hi. You in the video. So you didn't get to see the dogs, did you? No. Oh. I've been in this county now for nine years, and this is the first time since I've been here that Shelby County's had two dogs. But we have a sheriff that's willing to do it, and the chief deputy is in on it too. They're both dog lovers, and they know that it's a great asset, so they're going to keep pushing that program. Sydney PD has two dogs. Dark County has two dogs. Dayton PD has five dogs. So, I mean, it's becoming the way of the world. Everybody, welcome to this video. We're back at our home base in just outside of Rochester, New York, and we are out taking the dogs for a walk. And we stop, thought we'd stop and talk a little bit about an event we were at last summer, Illumina Plaza, and they had the local canine dogs from the police department and the sheriff's department there, and we got to see a demo of them, which was pretty neat. And so we wanted to share that with you here. So this was the Jackson Center Police Department, the Shelby County Sheriff's Department, and the City of Eaton Police Department. Um, the dogs you're gonna see today are dual certified canines with the exception of mine. Mine is strictly narcotics, um, articles, and tracking. We do everything from building searches to area searches to criminal apprehension, um, handler protection, narcotic searches, um, article searches, everything. First thing we're going to do today is an article search. Somebody breaks into a residence or a building of some sort and steal product, they could be throwing that as they're running. We can bring the dogs in and try to find that, that issue or the uh, property. Cody, let Hero out please. Hero? Here! Shepherd. Yes. Um, he is six. He'll be seven in November. Where's he from? Uh, he's a Czech Shepherd. 
That's so, right. and is that are you using? That's yeah. all check. Yep. It, when the dog was out here looking for your keys, yes. How did they distinguish a key if something else might be laying out there? See, that's the thing. They're actually going on human odor at that point. Okay. Um, when they're doing tracking, they're going for ground disturbance. He, he, he's just going for the difference in the odors in the ground. Okay. Is what is what he's going for. Okay. The sorry. easiest way to explain this, and and I learned this from our trainer. When you guys walk into a pizza shop, what do you smell? Pizza. Pizza. These dogs, if they walk in there, they smell every ingredient on that pizza. That's the easiest way to explain it. Their, their noses work so much heavier than ours. Um, obviously our dogs aren't quite that talented. <laughs> no. <laughs> they, they can run, but they can't catch anything. Yeah, they can't catch anybody or, or right. find uh, uh, missing keys or missing people or anything like that. But uh, yeah. they do sit. And they do go for walks, Whoa. don't you? you? Go for they don't walks, want to say that word. and you lay down and that type of stuff. But they don't—they're uh, not as talented as the dogs we're going to show you. So what we're going to do next? We'll get Shadow, and we'll do a quick bite routine for you. Like I said, the biggest thing in the state of Ohio is certification. We have to do so many different things to show that we have discipline. That dog will listen and do what we tell it to do. <clears throat> Can I? Hey Cody. Can you go kind of go down that way so we're running at that angle? But the biggest thing is is knowing that the officer and the suspect, quote unquote, can have interaction and that dog will not break. Cody. Socialization. So they can go up, they can shake hands, they can have a conversation, that dog should not break. He goes up, he lets them know, but he doesn't make contact. A lot of dogs do what we call cheating. They'll <laughs> nose bump you to get what they want, but as long as you don't do it, they're not going to bite you. And we, in our group, we go above and beyond the state of Ohio certification level. We hold two certifications. One of those is the state of Ohio, and then we hold a national certification, which is more stringent than the state of Ohio's requirements. So one of the big things that just got passed in the national certification is movement on stuff like this. So if they're having just a normal conversation with an intoxicated person who's going to be stumbling, moving around, that would be an indicator for the dog to bite that person if need be. Because he, he's looking at it as an officer assault. But now they're starting to do it that if they're staggering around, they can't engage. So it actually has to be a physical fight before the day engage. False start. That is the new guy. <laughs> but just like he did there, he acted like he was taking off running. The dog did not move. Go and back up. <laughs> bite. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Hold him, buddy. Hold him. Woo! Boy, go, boy, go, boy! Hold Help. him! Stand still, stop fighting my dog! Shadow, Poost! Canaza! Canaza! Go, boy, go, boy, go, boy, go, boy! Yeah. And we do everything the hard way. That's kind of our philosophy. There's certain ways that we'll do things. That dog's got a bite, now that dog wants to do it again. <laughs> so what he's going to do, that suspect has complied, the dog has let go, He's going to go in and do a pat down to make sure there's no weapons on that suspect. Hands up. What breeds are these dogs? I'm sorry? What breeds are these dogs? This was a German Shepherd. Are all of them German Shepherd? The next one we'll have out is a German Shepherd Malinois mix, and mine's a German Shepherd. Nine, nine. <laughs> now this next one, he's going to do the pat down, but there's going to be a fight because the guy doesn't want to be patted down. Boy, buddy, hold him! Automatically engaged if there is hold a, him, buddy. an assault that takes place. <laughs> Boy, hold him! Out! Stand still, stop fighting my dog! Shadow! Oh. Pulse! Canada! 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 Oh, <laughs> Unfortunately, with the sleeves, sometimes their teeth get caught and they have a hard time actually 
getting off of it. <laughs> what happens if the suspect tries to kick the dog? It really makes them mad and they start biting They start harder. biting a little harder. Okay. Yeah. Um, Do it! I, <laughs> 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 Shadow, Kanaza! That right there! Go, 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 go. In the state of Ohio, if somebody is running and you send the dog and they realize that, that they really screwed up, they say, I give up. We have to be able to stop that dog without engagement and bring him back to us. If that fails, that dog team will fail. That is a no, it's a pass fail. You can't, can't have any errors there. Load him up. Oh boy, hold him, buddy. Hold him. Oh boy. Not like that still stop out of my dog. Shadow, Puss, Kanaza. Kanaza. Boy, God, boy, God, boy. And they were pretty neat. Yeah, they go through a lot of training. Each dog has their own handler. And um, so we got to, to see a display of what these dogs can do. Right, right, and you know, one of the handlers, the who's, he's the chief of police for uh, Jackson Center. He, um, oh, okay, <laughs> he um, is a uh, certifier for the dogs for the. Um, I don't know if it's the state of Ohio or, or what region he covers, but he's a dog certifier, and all the dogs and the handlers have to be certified once a year mm -hmm. um, to be able to do this. And there's a lot of, you know, criteria. You know, they have to come back on command, they have to be able to stop on command, um, you know, there's a lot of what these dogs can do and it was really neat to see that. Right, and they were taught to attack on command. <laughs> yes. And they're after, you know, a criminal or whoever they're after. Right. And these dogs, they live with their handlers as well. Right, right. And, and one of the neat things is um, the I think Ohio, and it's probably true in other states too, but in Ohio, when the dog retires, the handler can purchase a dog from the department for one dollar. And, and their group is trying to put, in, put it in such a position that the handler doesn't even have to pay for any of the dog's care or treatments or anything for the rest of its life when, it, when the dog retires, which is really nice. Right. These dogs are mostly German Shepherd breed. Yep. And uh, they were beautiful dogs. Yeah, and, and very, very well behaved. Mm -hmm. You know, we think you guys are well behaved. They can up more than you guys. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our dogs are pretty well behaved, but definitely not to that extent. Right. Now, Bandit, the one they're going to get out, he just certified, what is this? This is uh, beginning of June. So he would have certified at the end of April. <clears throat> That is a Shepherd Malinois man. You guys can do a socialization. Do a false start? Yeah. Take off running, Cody. Is this going to be apprehension? <laughs> okay. Give it, let it go a little bit of distance get there. We'll give some distance. Yay! <laughs> Oh. See the difference between a German Shepherd and a mild mix? Oh, here! This is his first time ever catching dogs. Just today. So I made sure to put him in the suit just in case. Because a couple of these dogs can cheat. You know, they're used to hitting the arm all the time. But mine will go high. So we wanted to make sure we put him in a suit that we, we were protecting him. <laughs> and he likes to talk back while he's biting. <laughs>
One of the, one of the things that was pretty neat about these dogs is um, Bandit, who was with the Shelby County uh, Sheriff's Department, recently found a lost child. I was reading it on the internet, and this was just like like a month or so ago. Um, he they had gotten a call for a, a, a child that was lost, and the dog found it in like five minutes. Wow. Yeah. So he was a he's a local hero. Right. Yeah. So you can tell how well trained he's got. Right. Yeah. Cost for keeping a canine on? Annual cost to keep it on, two to three thousand okay. dollars. That's vet bills annually and food. And acquiring? A acquiring is a whole lot different. Um, if you don't have a car, you don't have the cage, you don't have the dog, you're about 50 grand, everything. It's it's about fifteen to sixteen thousand just for the dog and the training for the handler, and then it's outfitting the cruiser. The oh, outfitting wow. the cruiser is about five grand. Basically, it's real simple. They got a rubber mat to kind of make it a little easier on in and out of the car. The, the threshold to jump in and out is, is uh, easier than my last car. Um, it doesn't wear and tear on the joints. And then their water dish is actually bolted to the back, so it's not going to slide around, and it's uh, anti-spillable. So if I take a corner too quick. He may slide, but the water doesn't spill out. Um, they, one of the things that's really neat, and there's no training involved, but they all have really good bases because we have to drive just like a regular law enforcement. You have to go fast, you have to turn. Um, so it's really good for them as far as the, the rubber on the floor keeps them kind of, it lets them slide a little bit so they don't get their, their, their paws caught. But other than that, it's very simple. This door is on an actuator. This is a emergency bailout door. So you saw Sir Jones, he had a button on his belt. Door pops open, so if we need, if we're away from our car, we need a dog to come to us. Um, we hit a button, the door comes open. The dog is job only job is to come find us. That's it. They don't know what we need him for. How far Could, will that work? Uh, it depends on your batteries and where you have the remote at. To be honest with you. So anything they can do. And my department loves dogs. So I I tell, and this is no lie. If you want to become invisible, become a dog handler. Because you disappear, the dog is the only thing that people see anymore. Um, I have to wear a name tag, and no one's called me by my name for years. <laughs> <laughs> um, he does have rear air conditioning. That's another thing that they uh, they opted for. So it has been since something that, that pushed down to the top of the cage. It's perforated on the top, so it, it pushes down to him. Um, he's, which is nice for us because it used to be whatever our temperature was for us is what the dogs had to have. So in the winter, you know, we'd ride around with the windows down to keep him cool because mm -hmm. I, you know, I like to have heat on. It's winter. Not so much. So now we can kind of we can adjust the temperature accordingly so he can stay. But we also don't keep it so cold that when they come out, they're um, overcome by, oh my gosh, it's so hot. I'm so mm -hmm. cold. So, um, but that this is pretty much his kennel. This is his domain. And this display of the canine dogs has been, I mean, we've been going to Illumina Palooza. This was our second year. And at both events, they had this display of the canine dogs. Right, right, and it was it was it was really good each time. Mm-hmm. Yep, wasn't it? Yes. yes. So we hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We post new videos on a weekly basis, so if you'd like to be notified when we post a new video, hit the little bell down below and we will notify you of new videos that go up every week. And if you like Monty and Zephyr in our video, let us know. Yeah, leave a comment. If you want to see more Monty and Zephyr, less Randy and Diane. <laughs> okay. All right. And we will see you down the road. See you down the road, guys. <laughs>